Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, I am going to show you how we can add users to an Office 365 site and also we will see how we can assign license to that particular user. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, meanwhile, if you want to learn SharePoint, I have some SharePoint training courses for developers for end users and uh, you can go through. I will put this URL in the comment section of this particular video and you can see I have a few more courses on that and there is a SharePoint training course bundle which you can access everything on the site if you'll go for this one. Now, let me open our office 365 tenant so i will uh, uh, we will basically you can log into office.com or you can log in with the url admin.microsoft.com so if you will click on admin.microsoft.com then you will come up with this particular site i have already logged in so it didn't ask me for the credential else it will ask you for the credential so you put your office 365 uh, credentials here. If you have not signed off for an Office 365 tenant, then kindly go through my previous videos. So I'll put all the video links in the comment section of this particular video where you can sign up for an Office 365 Enterprise E5 license. And also I will put another video where you can create a site collection. Now for this one, if you'll see here uh, from the left navigation, you can see there's a section known as users. Click on that which will expand and you can see here active users. Click on this active users. By default, it will show you all the active users presented in this particular Office 365 tenant. For my case, if you'll see, I have only one user which is the tenant administrator or this is the same user which I have given while sign up for this Office 365 tenant. Now to add a user, click on this add a user link. Remember, I am using the modern or the new admin center you can see it here if you are using old administrator uh, old admin admin center then you can see here it will come off a screen like this where you can click on add user we will see that shortly now i will return back to my new admin center i hope all will be uh, by this time because um, this one is already a lot of organizations are using microsoft is already uh, released this one so i hope by this time you already using this new admin center so click on add a user and you can see here first thing there are a couple of steps on this first thing is set up the uh, the basic steps so i will provide the name and in this case i will say a name and you can see here so the display name will come uh, the first name and last name but you can change it suppose i don't want on the display name only this first name so i'll put this one and i will put a username so username is the same name that i wanted to give and this will be my username at the rate this is the tenant name dot on microsoft.com so this is how the username will be and then in the password settings you can auto generate the password and you can check this or you can create the password and at the same time you can require this uh, you can check this checkbox which will actually uh, allow the users when they will log in at the first time it will ask them to change the password and if you want to send uh, the e password in the email you can check this checkbox for this particular uh, case i will uh, create my password so i will say let me create the password and i'll put a password here so i just put the password and uh, i will select uh, send the password in the email then click on next and then the location on which location you want to do so for example in this case i will i can go for united states and uh, then uh, the product license so this is actually uh, a office 365 here in enterprise e5 you can see here office 365 e5 li e5 license and i have 24 left out of 25 licenses because one license already i'm using for myself 
and also you can create a user without product license which is uh, we should not create that uh, so um, they will be having very limited access unless and until you require that you should not create that way if you don't want to assign a license then you can always you can uh, share it with with external user that way you can, you can also do now i will assign a license so i'll select this a product license and i'll check this checkbox and if you will see here apps here just expand it you can see here what are the apps the user will be having access to so you can see here flow for office 365 all these products are available or the apps are available and you can actually uh, set this options here you can see here uh, Power BI Pro, Power Apps for Office 365, SharePoint Online Plan 2, Sky for Business. So all this uh, Yammer uh, to do uh, as why. So all these licenses are, are available. You can all all this access to this all these apps are available for this particular user. If you don't want, uh, uh, then you can just uncheck it. For example, I don't want this user to work on Flow. So you can see here Flow for Office 365, I can uncheck it. But let it check. We want the users to be all access. But you can anytime you can uncheck it. Suppose you don't want to give a pro license to this user. So you can just uncheck this. So the user will not be uh, and get the Power BI Pro over here. But let it open and then click on Next. So next thing is quite important. You want to give the role. So what role you want to provide to this user? For example, in this case, if you'll see here, I don't want to give a admin access to this particular user. Now, uh, if you don't want to give admin access, it is fine. But a lot of cases you also want uh, some people to be admin of particular uh, uh, things here. For example, I will say admin center access and then I can make uh, the user global admin or I, these are the various admins roles that I can provide. For example, I will say SharePoint admin. So this user will be uh, can be act as a SharePoint administrator. Similarly, for example, user admin, you can just click on that and then you will be able to see what the user can do with these roles. For example, if I will give user admin, then the user will be able to reset password, create and manage users, groups, so including filters, manage service requests, monitor service, all these things the user can do. So exchange admin, if I will select the user, then it will be having full access to the exchange online. So these kind of things are there. I will make uh, the global admin. So let it, let it be the global admin. Similarly, there you can see here, there's a help desk admin where you can reset the password. Suppose I want to get a, create a user for my support team and I want the user should be able to reset or the password from my organization, uh, from various users, then you can give a help desk admin to the user. Similarly, you can by category, you can see uh, various options. You can see here all these products and services uh, products are there. You can make admin of those, uh, uh, those products. And then profile information you can provide you can provide the uh, uh, information profile personal information. For example, in this case, I will say the department is technology. And uh, you can have a, a phone number here. Suppose I will uh, put some phone number here and uh, so you can see here and uh, uh, then you can uh, provide this uh, city address state all these things you can provide so uh, these are the properties of this particular user now next click on next and then you are almost done so in this step we need to verify so you can see here there is a custom password i have provided this will be the display name and the username uh, the email will be sent to this this one and then uh, 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 the password so that i can forward this to the particular user to any uh, or any other id so that they can see the password and this is the product license and the roles so anytime you can edit this information uh, for example, suppose I don't want uh, this role. So you can see here the moment I clicked. So it came here. So I'll, I, I want to add uh, help desk admin. And uh, then I will say next. Again, you can see here now the user is having help desk admin. So I will now click on finish adding. So you can see here now the user will be added. Uh, you can see here the user has been added. 
uh, it is clearly saying with the display name a username and the password also if you can click on click on show then you can see the password and the email to whom the email has been sent so this kind of things all these things has been uh, provided here you can save uh, all this user uh, as a template so you can save this user settings as a template so that next time you can uh, just use this template so whatever the default settings are there all these options will come by default so you don't need to go from uh, from uh, uh, checking on checking all these options so in this the benefit you will get is suppose uh, the role i have help desk admin sharepoint admin and then uh, exchange uh, admin so these things i don't need to remember i know this category of users i can provide use this template and then we can uh, create the users based on that template so uh, so uh, then you can see here if you want to add more user you can click on add new user add another user and if you don't want then you can just click on close and now we can see the user over here so in this video we saw how we can uh, create the user uh, um, uh, in other videos we will see how we can edit and how we can disable the user those things we will see in the next video so if you really like our uh, this video then uh, you can uh, you can uh, subscribe to our youtube channel uh, kindly like and subscribe you can uh, put the comments in the comment section and if you want some videos to i i should make for you you can uh, add into the comment section as well and these are uh, these are our twitter handle and the linkedin facebook page is there so you can um, uh, you can uh, check out those things and uh, have a nice day